Yes, yes, y'all know what it is, man. It's the Earn I So Show. If you don't know now, you know. Uh, we appreciate all the new listeners, all the new followers, you know what I'm saying? Spotify, Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to us at on, you know what I mean, your po- whatever your podcast listening choice is. We appreciate you. Thank you for getting here. Uh, we also, you know what I mean, appreciate all of our YouTube subscribers, you know what I mean, listeners as well. Uh, it's another episode, y'all. Um, let's get into it. How we going to get into it, man? How was your week? How was your weekend? Mine is the rain. Man, everything is um everything was good, man. You know what I mean? Like I say, like I say all the time, man. Got a problem I can't solve. But um, yeah, let me thank everybody for listening. But um, like you saying, like right now we trying to consolidate our listeners. We understand that some of y'all listen to like on um on all different type of platforms. We find the platforms all the time. But a lot of them platforms, we can't get we can't get like our numbers, meaning like how many plays we get and all that, how many people are scrapping and all that type of stuff. We can't get it from there. So now I mean we would appreciate if some of y'all kind of migrated over to like some major platforms. Now I mean we do appreciate y'all listening, but we don't really get no credit for a lot of y'all listening on places that's not major places. You know what I'm saying? So the major places would be what, like Spotify, Apple, like mm-hmm. iHeart, mm-hmm. name I think says um, Pandora. Yeah, Pandora. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because some of y'all are some some uh, are listening to, to us. We we getting like thousands. We get like thousands of plays on like on like smaller platforms, but we can't get no information from them platforms, even though they have our content. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, okay, you got our content to get your the numbers you need, but when we ask for what our I mean, try to get our numbers, ain't no information for us available. But you know what I'm saying? But but our but our podcast is on that platform to help them get their numbers. You know what I mean? I mean, get people over there. So, you know what I mean? We can't work together. You know what I'm saying? I don't even need our stuff to be on there. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, I mean, I ain't going to say no names right now. I mean, them, them platforms know where they are because you don't even get the podcast from us. You just take it from somewhere else and put it on your platform. Mm-hmm. Even though, like I said, we do appreciate the plays, people listening. But some of y'all, we need y'all to start going to the majors. You know what I mean? Name like Apple, or Spotify, like iHeart or something like that. Like you said, Pandora. Now we need some of y'all to move over to there. That way we get we kind of, now we can get like our numbers, our credit for our plays. Because right now we get thousands. I mean, I mean we do exceptionally well, but we get like thousands of plays on just like platforms that we just like just stumble across and ain't never heard of. Right. But our podcast is on there. You know what I mean? Our podcast is on that platform. We on a platform that we never even heard of. So then you so then you try to get and see see if you can get access to get, you know what I mean, what whatever your numbers are, the plays we get and all that. You know what I mean? We can't we can't we can't get accurate numbers and all that. You know what I'm saying? We get like no nothing nowhere close. But they'll have like people that's like review and all that and rate and review and all that. And it'd be like thousands of people. I'm like, okay, we getting all so that gotta equate to a bunch of plays. How many plays we getting over there? We can't get the exact number, so they they don't get that information, but they take our stuff and put it on there because they know we get plays because people, you know, people rock with us. So we appreciate y'all rocking with us, but we need y'all to move to majors. Yeah, definitely, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we definitely do appreciate y'all. So it's another Let's Talk, y'all. We took time off of the question and the answers, man, just to address some things that's going on in the culture. It's just going on in life. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do from time to time. So um, let me get in and out of this sports thing because I know you're not really heavy, heavily into the basketball thing. So basketball-wise... Y'all know the Sixers, man. We picked up Mo Bamba. We picked up Patrick Beverly. Yeah, you know I mean, we got uh, James Harden still in the win. We don't know what's going on with that situation. You know what I mean? Also on the basketball forefront, Victor Rembinyama, you know what I'm saying, who has been categorized as the greatest prospect in the last 20 years. You know what I'm saying? That's what they said. One of the greatest prospects in the, in the last 20 years. You know what I mean? First game was not, not so good. You know what I mean? This, they said it was one of the most watched summer league games, his first game. You know what I'm saying? And like, 15 years, I think. So, yeah, I mean, uh, first game wasn't that good. I guess it's just him getting acclimated with what's going on. Second game, he picked it up, you know what I mean? And he seemed to be coming into form. Now, let me ask you this question. This is my question to ISO. The businessman, you know what I'm saying? Um, you can put your CEO hat on, your owner's hat for this. Now, we know Damian Lillard, Damian Lillard has asked for a trade request, but said that I only want to go to this one team. You know what I'm saying? A lot of sports fans are feeling as though the team owes it to Dame to put to get to, to to send him where he where he said where his request is at. They owe it to him. If you are the owner, CEO, owner, operator of the Portland Trailblazers, do you feel as though 
My main objective is to get Damian Lillard where he wants to go. Absolutely not. Okay, thank you. Because I felt the same way. I mean... My man, got you got paid, didn't you? Um... My job is to run this franchise the best I can. We got to make the moves the best I can to benefit us. Mm -hmm. So wherever we make the trade is where we get the most value and we feel like it's going to help us. Right. You know what I mean? That's where you end up going. You know what I mean? No, we can't, we, can't, we can't owe it to you to make sure you land where you want to land that. No, we can't do that. I feel you. Because so we're going to do that for you, and then they may not be the best deal. could be a better deal on the table for right. us, but we don't take it. You know what I mean? Some people are living in the fantasy world, like you say. Like a lot of people say, you know what I mean? Saying goes in sports. You know what I mean? If you if you weren't about a fan's opinion and you did everything fans said, you wouldn't even be in this business. You'll be a fan. Right. And that's the honest God truth. I truly believe that. If you thought like how some of these people think and did everything a fan wants you to do, you wouldn't even be making no money and you wouldn't be successful in that business. You would be a fan. You'd be sitting right on the side, you know what I mean, paying... Paying paying for a ticket to come watch mm. and not you know what I mean and not and not be participating in it. You know what I mean? Just like fans are. You thought like a fan, you'd be a fan. You know what I mean? If you operated like a fan, you would be a fan. You wouldn't right. even be in the business. So, no, they don't owe them that. You know what I'm saying? He owed them to do what is best best for their franchise. So they gotta try to work out a deal that they feel like they get fair value. You know what I'm saying? You can't take you might can't potentially take less value to worry about where he might go. Him going somewhere he don't want to go. No, you can't think like that. You know what I mean? They got a business to run. They have a franchise, man. So, no, you can't do that. I feel you on that. I definitely feel you on that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people feeling as though they owe it to him because of, you know what I mean, his loyalty to the team, that they owe it to him to send him to Miami because that was it where he requested to go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I kind of felt like that, too. It's, it's kind of weird. Like, a lot of... A lot of GMs is kind of like, you know what I mean, pushing for his agent for them to get tampering, you know what I mean, uh, tampering fines against them because, you know what I mean, Dame, that his agent came out and said that if he go anywhere else than, you know what I mean, Miami, he's going to be very unhappy. So to steer other teams away from him, you know what I'm saying? So uh, a lot of GMs is looking into like tampering, you know what I mean, for that. But, you know, we're not really going to get too deep into the sports scene, you know what I'm saying, because it's not really nothing going on sports wise as far as where we're concerned. But within the music industry, this is some complex put out. Yeah, I mean, we 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 I sent it to you. It was just something small. I'm just gonna go over it real fast. Complex did a top ten. Yeah, you know I'm saying, uh, is this hip hop cities? All right, so ranking the best rap cities right now. This is yeah, you know I mean, complex is uh, best rap cities right now. Philadelphia at number ten. We got Detroit at nine, London at eight, Houston at seven, Miami at six, my Memphis at five. L.A. at four. We got Chicago at three. New York at two. And number one is Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? So that's Complex's top ten, you know what I mean, ranked uh, hip-hop cities. I, I do believe they, they, they categorize. Oh, top ten ranked best rap cities right now. You know what I'm saying? As y'all know, you know what I mean, we Philly, you know what I mean, born, born and raised over here. I don't know why we landed so low on that list. I don't know how London... You know what I'm saying? Uh, Crep up there, but shout out to y'all, man. Uh, did you want to say anything about that? Because there's something I wanted to go into. Um, the whole thing, um, the whole thing about that list that had me thinking, like, is they paying, uh, okay, are you going by, you going by artists that are considered new school artists or artists that been around for how many years? 10, 20 years? Because it's like, okay, you can't, the New York because read what they got on New York. Is, are they are they are they counting Jay Z in there? Yep. Did I read that right? Yep. Did they counted Jay Z in there? Yep. Amongst New York to keep New York in there. Mm-hmm. Cause right now, you know what I mean New York we love y'all, but okay y'all got y'all got Cardi, y'all got and they got Ice Spice right. I'm saying that yeah. anyway. Ice, Ice Spice. Spice. Okay. Now they they got Jay in Nikki. there and they got Nas in there that they're crediting. Yeah, but so know what I mean so if you gonna throw everybody in there, you gotta throw. Okay, you can't just throw. The OGs in there for them. Did you throw the OGs in there for everybody, for every city? Nah. Did they throw the OGs in there for every city? You see what I'm saying? That kind of caught my eye. Because I think when I read the joke for Detroit, they threw Eminem in there. Even though they got a lot of young talent in Detroit. Mm -hmm. did, did it, am I right or wrong? They threw Eminem name in there too? Uh, For Detroit. Let me see. Go to Detroit. Uh, yep. Eminem yeah. the first one. You see what I'm saying? Yep. 
So now, now I mean, so my thing is, did you did you throw OGs in there for everybody? You know what I mean? For every city? Yeah. Are you through, you know what I'm saying? Are you through people that have made it came out of the last five or ten years? You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I feel you. So, all right, you know what I mean? Most of that makes sense because I was like, I was like, all right, you 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 count you counting you counting Jay Z and Nas, but I mean you count you're counting Jay Z and Nas, but are you counting those the legendary acts that came from all them cities? See what I'm saying? Right, I feel you. That kind of caught my eye. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was like, all right, man, this is a list. You know what I mean, I ain't really take the list too seriously, but that did catch my eye. I'm like, did you count everybody for for going going back to the OGs to the new school people? Right. Or you just did that for certain cities. You know what I'm saying? Because right now, to tell you the truth, I mean, I mean, Memphis, what 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 what, what number was Memphis? Five. Memphis could have probably been higher. Because who because who's above them? Go keep going down. All right, we got LA. Uh we got Chicago, New York, and Atlanta was one. Memphis could have probably been higher because Memphis hot as fish grease right now. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Memphis higher. Memphis better than New York City right now. See what I'm saying? Yeah, Memphis, that's, Memphis that's better why, than New York. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so, you know what I mean? Memphis could have probably been higher on that joint, man. Yeah, Chicago should be higher than New York. You got Dirt. You know what I mean? Uh, G Herbo, Chief Key, Polo G, Kanye West. Yeah, I think Chicago right now should be higher than New York. Yeah, so... Yeah, man, the list is, I mean, it is what it is. I ain't going to get too deep in it, but I just, but that just caught my eyes, like, all right, did you, we, we going back with every, you know what I mean? You putting all OGs and everybody in that ever came out that city, or you just picking and choosing, you know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, you know what I mean? Memphis is hot. You know what I mean? Memphis is really, really, really doing anything right now. To me, to me, they, but they, to me, they should have been higher. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's all. I feel you. Yeah, shout out to them, you know what I mean? Uh, shout out to them and shout out to these lists that we're going to get. Consecutively, week oh, after let week. Me, oh, let me say something else Go real ahead. quick. Let me say about London. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm not 100% all the way up on London. I'll be listening to some stuff from people that say they're some from London. So I can't, like, get a grasp on, like, the whole scene of London, even though the stuff pop up on my timeline from time to time, and I listen to some of the music. So I can't say they deserve to be on there or not because I'm not that well-versed in them. I only listen to a song here and there. You know what I'm saying? The last... Because I'm kind of, you know what I mean, I'm kind of like, well, we might consider it, I don't know if we want to consider them old school, but like the last kind of like people I really, really listen to from London is um is SAS. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, because some, some of y'all from over there might say, well, you know, they they like OGs in there. You know what I mean? We on some whole new wave now. You know what I mean? So I don't know. You know what I mean? So I don't know to say that them that they deserve to be on there or not. Cause because I only heard a a, a a song from, only hear songs here and there, and I can't connect the artist with the songs. I like like I hear artist names and then I hear songs. I can't connect one or the other. You know what I mean? Time to time like that, so I can't say they belong. Actually, they 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 deserve to be on there or not. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? So I can't say that about London. You know what I mean? I can't really say too much about London because I'm I'm kind of like just now getting up on them. I'm mean? running a little late. You know what I mean? When it come to them. You know what I mean? So, 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 so I just want to say that. But some of the stuff I did listen to, but I can't, I couldn't even tell you the name of the songs. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so, you know what I mean? Much respect to them. I mean, hip hop is all over the place, man. Yeah. Now I'm just laughing at because uh, in the complex list, if you guys check out the list, maybe I'll put it in the description if I remember to do it. But uh, they broke down like the sounds that define this, you know what I'm saying, location. And uh, when, you go to, when you go to Miami, it's a melodic rap, pussy rap. Trap and let it trap. That's that's what they they call it, pussy rap. No, Damn. Okay. That's what it's saying. That's the name on. Well, well, what well, well, everybody was calling it stripper rap before, and that's just straight up pussy rap. Yeah. So somebody that you're like, that's wild. Okay, that's that's what we gonna call it. All right, whatever. You know what I'm saying pussy rap. Yeah, like you know what I mean. Even though, like you know, you, you like you say, you take the list. What you take the list? Because in Philadelphia, say our defining sounds is Philly club and trap. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that's really like our defining sounds. Like, I mean, everything ain't trap music that comes from Philadelphia. But we don't call it trap. No, I mean, we we don't. No, no, I mean, we don't. 
we don't call it trap up here. Right. You know I mean, it's just, it's, it's just, it's just street music. It's street. Yeah, there you go. You know yeah, I mean, it's yeah, just street yeah. music. We don't call it trap up here. Yeah. So, you know, like you said, man, the list is the list. And, uh, you know what I mean? If you go buy it, if y'all agree, y'all agree. If y'all don't agree, then y'all don't agree. But also on the music front, you know what I'm saying? Those that know, you know what I mean? Those that's in the forefront. Uh, all right. Those that know those that are in the forefront. Kiki Palmer. You know what I mean? Got serenaded by my man U S H E R R A Y M O N D. Now, <laughs> now listen. Uh, her Take, boyfriend taking it nice and slow. Taking man. it nice and slow. Like her boyfriend, uh, Darius Dalton. You know what I'm saying? Came out. He was uh upset. He he he. he I mean, voices opinions on. He didn't like. You know what I mean, what she wore. The fact that you know what I mean, the cheeks was out. Yeah, you know I'm saying like you know, you know, what I mean, voices opinion. A lot of people was like, "Yo, chill out, it's Usher." I don't know what that means, but <laughs> they were telling him like, "Yo, it's Usher." Like, it's, when it's Usher, you just you allow things to happen because it's Usher. So, um, I want to ask your opinions on that, man. Um, yeah, man. Listen, man, it's Usher. It's Usher. <laughs> I mean, Usher, baby. <laughs> You supposed to be cool with it. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? They looking at you like you supposed to be cool with it. Duh. You know what I'm saying? Listen. <laughs> it's awesome. Listen, man. You know what I mean? with it. <laughs> now, now I mean, if you know us, we already talked about the whole what's your rank thing. You know what I'm saying? Right. These women expect you to know that Usher's one of them men that rank high in their life. Oh, yeah. No doubt. You know what I mean? Usher up there with them. You know what I mean? Like, now I mean with all the guys that they love in life, you know what I mean? I the whole the Den- yeah, Usher one, ever came yeah, down yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Usher, you know Usher, Denzel, and all that. And, you know, right. the guys like them. You know what I mean? They all, they all, they all women love. Right, the untouchable. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The guy. You now I mean, he one of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you supposed to understand and be cool. My thing is, all right, when I'm. When I'm singing all up in Beyonce's face, there you go. right? Now I'm smiling. She's singing to me, and I'm smiling and falling the hell out, right? You know what I'm saying? Give me the same type. Yeah, yeah. Now I mean, give me the same hall pass. Energy. Now I mean, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Now I mean, be cool with it. Yeah. It's Beyonce. You now I mean, be cool with it when I'm up there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? With 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 with, with the ones that, now I mean, all guys love. You know, Beyonce and all that. Yep. Rihanna, you know, Ashanti and all of them. Now, now I mean, the two, now I mean, the ones that all, all guys like, be cool with it. You know what I mean? I'm just saying I want the same energy. Cause you gonna have me out of character at the next concert, Beyonce joint. Can I get a fell up here? Me, me, yeah, my turn, bitch. As I'm, <laughs> now I'm saying, listen. I mean, straight up. Now I mean, this is my thing though. Now I mean, we joking about it, but listen. But you see, like, you see all the stuff. How how, how the stuff we say makes sense? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, we talked about the whole what's your rank, right? Right, right, right. These chicks is looking at these men like it's Usher. Meaning, like, you're supposed to understand that he ranks higher than you. He's supposed to be cool with that. Right. See how women think? Women give men a rank. Usher, one of them ones. Right. You're supposed to be cool with that. You know what I mean? You're supposed to automatically know, don't, don't trip. Now I mean, de- now I mean, just like we say, if Beyonce pulls somebody up on stage and all that and all that, like back when Destiny Child did that, oh Magic Johnson, he married, ain't he? Yeah. Ain't these good? Ain't some of these guys got women? No, you supposed to understand the same way we supposed to understand, right? That there's certain people that rank high to us. You supposed to be cool with that, right? Y'all women supposed to expect that you just be cool with? You supposed to be cool with that. Not to say, I, I mean, I would get upset about it because I don't know if I told the story or not. The chick I was messing around with, remember back when um, back when Trey Songz used to pull the chicks on stage yeah. and all that and kiss all on yeah. them and all that? Trey Songz was wild. Know what I mean? Know I mean? A chick I was dealing with got pulled up on on stage by Trey Songz. I mean, I don't know if I told that story or not. No, you know what I'm saying? Man. It's getting crazy, but go ahead. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get my fucking you know? Nori drink champ joint on. Didn't expect that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, off like, right there. yeah, like. <laughs> so you know, um, yeah, um, a chick that she wasn't my girlfriend, but me and her, you know what I mean? We, you know what I mean, dating or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was building. You know what I mean? Doing all things, doing with each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she goes to the Trey Song concert. You okay. know. No, I don't go. You know what I mean? Right. She goes to the Trey Song concert. Respectfully. You know what I'm saying? Now, I don't know that 
she got brought up on stage and all that. You know what I mean? And did all, you know what I mean? All that, all, all up, on, grinding all up on her and kissing all on her. I don't know that. Right. Until she said, until I think like like the, the day after, you know what I mean? She come to me, well, I want you to know something because I don't want it, uh, somebody else, you know what I mean, to say something or you to find out some other type of way. I'm like, what are you talking about? Because because back then I didn't even have like I didn't have like Instagram or like Facebook. I didn't okay, have that. I got you. Now, I mean this is before I even had that. Now, I mean I was even on Twitter. I think the only thing I was on was Twitter. Now, I mean so I wasn't even on Facebook or Instagram back then. It's like yeah, you know, um, um, you know, um, I was at the um, Trey Songs concert, or whatever, and I just want to let you know before somebody else. Now, I mean, or, or or you might see it online that you know I got pulled up on stage. I'm like, well, you know, I don't see it because I ain't got, you know I mean, I ain't got no social media. Right. You know what I mean? Like that. You know what I mean? And I think this was back before, and I think this was back when you could just talk on Twitter. You couldn't, you know what I'm saying? I don't even think the videos and all that was even up there yet, you know what I mean? Or something like that. Okay. So, you know what I mean? It's the whole. Um, you mean like leave the voice notes? No, like the shit, like, like how you could just see anything now, videos and all that. I don't think it was none of that. I think it was just the pictures and talk then. I don't I think you. it was like video yet. I got you. On there. You know what I mean? I don't I don't think so. But um, yeah, you know what I mean? She came and told me that. And then um, I'm like, well, because she was like, people was like sending it to her. Mm. You know what I mean? She was like sending the video to her. You know what I mean? At, that they took and all at that. At the time that she to told me. you this, did you know like what consists, what activities happen at the Trey Songs concert? Damn, you said activities. <laughs> um, like, <laughs> Yeah, because that's what everybody was talking about. Everybody uh, talking about how, uh, I mean, Trey Songz yeah. pulled his chicks yeah, yeah. up on stage and all that. <laughs> like, now, now, I mean, that was back when that was like the big deal and all that. was yeah. back when like Trey Songz was like the, one of the, hot, the hottest boy at the time and all that. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> that was back then. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, the thing was, I mean, I didn't get upset about it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I didn't get upset about it. So, yeah. But, you know, I did. That's the difference. Me and her wasn't. I mean, I wasn't together. Right, y'all ain't had no kids. So I could not get, you know what I mean, I could not get upset about it. And I didn't get, I mean, even if we were together, I wouldn't have got upset about that. I mean, that's just me. She went there to enjoy herself. Now, the difference between that was, you know what I mean, Trey Songz was tonguing chicks down. He's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Some of those joints, wild. they was like, like Trey yo. Was wild with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was wild with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was doing all kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so I did go... Do something similar like that, but not, but not, but not to the extent. Cause I said we didn't have that relationship to where as you mind. And then, like I said, I'm different. I wouldn't have got upset about it, cause I'd have been like, all right, she having fun with us, she's singing to her and all this and that. You know what I'm saying? She fanning out. She probably loved us her whole life since she was a little girl. You know what I mean? I'd be more understanding. You know what I mean? I'm this type of person. I'd be more, more understanding of that. You know what I'm saying? But I can't say that. Oh well. You know what I'm saying? He's. I mean, he a sucker for that, for feeling that way and all this and that. No, he probably got real feelings for her. So, you know what I'm saying? That's what killed me about this whole, you want men to be more emotional and tap into their feelings. Then as soon as you do it, he up there bitching, he don't understand. That's Usher. Yeah. What are you saying? But but these be the same women that want you to be be more emotional and express yourself when something wrong. What the fuck does that mean that that's Usher though? What do that mean? I don't know. See, they see. I'm I heard that shit. It's it's what's your rank though? See, yeah, I'm, you supposed to you, you supposed to understand that Usher rank one of them ones. Right. That you supposed to be cool with it. If she ever got the if she ever got the chance to be with Usher, yeah. she supposed to be cool with it because it's Usher. Yeah. Now I mean, now I mean. But then my thing is, if I ever got the goddamn chance to go be with the now I mean name. Name somebody, Beyonce, right. Shanti, or, you know what I mean? Yeah, SZA, right. whoever. Yeah. You supposed to be cool with that. You supposed to be cool that I was in, <laughs> that she pulled me up on stage singing to me and she's grinding all up on me. Right. I'm going to be like, hey, that was SZA. Oh, that was Ashanti. What you mad about? Right. You know what I mean? You supposed to understand that. You know what I mean? See, but they don't want to, see, see, but they don't want to do like, they don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? But the difference, the difference between that situation is, like, like you said, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you're female from one of the, well, I mean, Trey Songz. How many times that lifetime she gonna see Trey Songz again? It's exactly. Kiki Palmer. You know it's Kiki Palmer. If you want to get next to Usher again, you can make that happen. 
Right. See. <laughs> see. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Right. right. And I'm gonna tell. And I'm gonna tell you why. Right. Now, even though we don't know the whole, the whole, everything, the background story and the whole specifics of this. Now, when all these goddamn women just goddamn agreeing with what the hell? Now, I mean, we love them, but now, I mean, we are gonna talk about the situation. What JT just did to Uzi, right? Yeah, yeah, you right, you right. Yelling and screaming at him in front of every goddamn body, right. cussing him out in front of everybody, right? Now I mean, from 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 what we from what it looked like is him. I don't know, taking a picture with Ice Spice yeah. or being sitting next to him, yeah. conversating with her. Now yeah, I mean, it's just then, the same vicinity, point blank. You, know what you I'm see what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if it's that too, because people show like part of like his song they came out. He said something about he not now he threw Ice Spice name in a song or something like that. Mm -hmm. He know they start being chicks as detectives. So as a dude, so, as a man do something wrong, he detectives are not. Right. And then he said something in the song through now he threw Ice Spice name in the song, but but uh, his girlfriend is JT. So how are you talking to about now he got another woman? I mean, rapper in the, in the song and all this and that. Okay, y'all got all that. Okay. I'm not saying y'all right and y'all wrong. I'm not saying that y'all wrong for that. Okay. But y'all was just, okay, she was she was right for that. For cussing mm -hmm. him out. Mm -hmm. Y'all was cool with that. Right. We supposed to be cool because it's us shit. Right. 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 There you go. Now I mean? You're right. Now I mean? Now if I cuss your ass out through my phone at you, I'm going to jail. Right. Right. Or how you going to do that to a female? Now I mean? Okay, grip her ass right up. Now, now if I go grip, now if I go do with that, now I mean I go do that. Now I mean not to make fun of Uzi and all that, cause it's Philly. Now, now I mean now we from Philly. Now I'm saying, and he and he holding us down right now. You know right, what I'm saying? Thanks. Now I mean representing. Now I'm saying, being one of the biggest artists. Now I mean the whole entire world. Now I mean being from Philly. Now I mean very proud of. Him. We just talking about the situation. Right. Now we was down cussing. Now I'm saying he and he he got to just get cussed out. Now I mean cussed out. Oh, she right for that. Right. He shouldn't have been doing that. You don't do that. But we supposed to be cool that it's Usher. A couple goddamn weeks later, we supposed to be cool when you do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. God, do you understand what I'm saying? We just did. We just seen that. We just seen that a few weeks ago. Oh no, I said, yeah, it ain't bad. Better not be doing all that. Uh-uh. You don't do all that. Uh-huh. Yeah, cuss his ass right out. He deserved that. Okay, these the same chicks that I was just saying. He deserved that a few weeks ago. He deserved that a few weeks ago for what for for for, for what Uzi did a few weeks ago. Right. These the same chicks that why is he upset? He's insecure. He's insecure. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Now I'm saying not to say that I would have did all that on the internet. Now I mean I wouldn't have did all that. Now I might have said something to her. Now I mean if I was upset, not now I mean if I got upset about that. So now I mean you, if I did get upset about that, so you felt as though if you, got, if, you got, if you got embarrassed publicly, you are gonna talk to her privately. How, how you embarrassed publicly? Because she did that shit on stage in front of everybody. Fam, motherfuckers know we just had a baby together. Fam, who so, who can't this? But, all right, but, all right. But, she she up, she up there. Yeah. She, she she up there getting sung to with us and she doing all with us. You already know she coming home with you. All right, man. Some of y'all, some of y'all motherfuckers out here to me are insecure. <laughs> but no, listen to me. Listen to me. Just like you said, yeah, yeah the, the girl that you was with at the time, motherfuckers start sending her the picture. So let's say y'all in that circle, that friend circle. Let's send the joint to ISO too, cause you know ISO fucking with her. Now you getting information. You like, damn, I ain't even, I ain't even know what the fuck is this. You know what I mean? So that's but what I'm saying. But at the same time, me and her went together, but she still, True. she was still expecting me enough to tell me. Because she, because she told me the next day, the day after it happened. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she did tell me, even though we wasn't together, we should tell. You know what I mean? She still told me. You know what I mean? That's because I'm addicted to me. You heard me? Yeah. But did you look at it differently? You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we weren't even together. But she still, she she, she told me even though we wasn't together. Now I understand my thing because, he, you know what I mean? But she's a celebrity. Yeah. And like I said, everybody needs content. So let's just make up something. Oh, well, he should be, uh, man, you see what they was doing on stage? They doing it really for content. Do you true, really care true. about? You're right. No, I mean, do you really care about that man's feelings? No, man, they don't care about that giver man about that man's feelings. <laughs> no, People just don't. need content. They don't. They don't. No, I mean, so to me, it wouldn't even been that big of a deal. Okay, sung to him. Now I'm saying she started fanning out. She probably cared about her whole life. This probably this 
It's probably people that, like I said, you know I mean, certain women that I'll probably be smiling all up in their goddamn face if I ever got around them. Yeah, but you don't even know if they got a dude, though. It's a difference. See, I'm saying I'm saying it's a difference. Like, do we believe that Usher would have went about the same thing? He would have sung the Beyonce the same way. No, because of the respect that he got for Jay-Z. He you, would, I mean, do you, you do, do you think that? Do you think he would have did that? Realistically, he would have went about singing. No, he'd have been on some ser serenading face to face, nice, happy yeah, to meet you yeah, type of shit. Yeah, but he might. Yeah, but he know him and Jay-Z together. She might he might not even know she got a man. She just had a baby. We all know she got a man. They don't fucking know. No, well, you're right. You're right. We don't know that. They, they, they worry about the shit. You don't know. That man ain't thinking about all that. I give you that. And then plus, I should bring in every goddamn body up on stage. He been doing that shit since he been in Las, Las Vegas. True. I give you that. He's singing the chicks. He's singing the every Patty LaBelle. ain't got them anybody. He ain't saying the Patty LaBelle ass, though. You know what I'm he saying? He said to the chicks. Listen, we don't know. That's what we... I mean, we don't know. We ain't <laughs> no got no video. Got pies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no disrespect. said Patty got the pies. <laughs> Patty got the pies. <laughs> I mean, said Patty. He said he's singing the Patty Pie. Got that... <laughs> no disrespect. You know what I mean? Patty, I mean, you never know. I mean, she 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 still looking right. Yeah. Patty Pie, you know what I mean? Philly legends, man. man listen, man, but yeah, <laughs> come on, man. Everybody go there singing with him. You right? I give you that. You know what I'm saying? He's singing to everybody. You he know just, what? You, you know he what? just had a joint where he just singing to Sweetie. Yeah, he was. You right? He was. He was. So you know what I mean, don't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? You right. You right. Take it personal. with Ursha, baby. Yeah. That's what he do. But the Sweetie shit was face to face with some room. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you know I mean, distance in that motherfucker. Like, listen, I you know mean, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and I mean, my, oh, listen, man, man it's, 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 it's cool when they do it, it's a problem when I do it. <laughs> no, you're right, though. See no, what I'm right. saying? That's all I'm saying with that. It's cool when they do it, it's a problem when I do it. I ain't gonna front. Maybe, maybe he is kind of overreacting due to the situation because if we saw what she had on. If you allow her not saying aloud, because y'all gonna get they gonna they gonna rip you the dog. Apart that's what that. I'm saying. But if you see your woman leaving the house like that and you don't have no no qualms with it, no no I mean no conversation, then that means the day is open. See, but we don't know what they had. See, see, we don't know where this come from. We don't know if this is the straw that broke the camel's true, back or what. True, true, we have no true. idea. We talking right. about we, we talking just about hypothetically people. talking. We talking about yeah, yeah. We just talking about people's personal lives. Yeah, right. really, that's that's yeah. That's why we don't have no like clue this. what's going on. Yeah, we don't have no clue what's going on. They could have been goddamn arguing. He could have been arguing, screaming and howling about her about that before she left. The right. Room. We have no clue. Right, right. We have right. absolutely no clue That's what problem is. That's why we don't do this type of shit. It's, it's, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We don't, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah like, now I mean, we just do this, you know what I mean, current events to kind of yeah, break up the whole monotony right of what yeah. we do, you know what I'm saying? To kind of like jump from here to That's why yeah. we don't do it all the time. We don't, you know what I mean? Because we don't like the gossip and all yeah, that. Yeah, you got to fill these blanks with shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, because we don't know. You know what I mean? We just going to, you know what I mean? Just like the other situation, the whole the whole Uzi and 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 and. and, and in his woman situation, right? We just feeling. You know I'm saying we we don't we don't know the context behind that. We don't know. You know what I'm saying we don't know everything that happened, right? Now I mean, we don't. You know what I'm saying so that's why I don't really like that. Not not because it, it, it start. We got, now we gotta talk about it from time to time, current events from time to time, because of what's going on in the world. You know what I'm saying, but now I mean we don't. I don't want to. I mean that's why I don't do it often because I don't want to sound like it's gossip because we don't even know context of everything. We don't know everything that happened. Right. We know everything that's going on. Man, they could be at each other's throats when they ain't in that we ain't in our damn house. Right. We have no clue. We don't know if he was there was yelling, screaming, hollering. Yeah, it's better not go out here looking like that. And she went out there looking like that. She threw the she might have been mad on. That's why she threw the fucking dress on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's like a fucking dress. See, what? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that that looked like a fucking dress. Yeah. She looked good in it. She did. She looked damn good. You know what I'm Just saying? Drop a baby. Yeah. Hell yeah, she looked damn good. You know what I'm saying? That like a fucking dress. Yeah. So we don't know what they going through. You know what I mean? Because who knows? She might did that two pushes button. Now, I mean, not just how to vilify her, right. but she might did that two pushes damn buttons. I'm going to go out here looking like that. Then on top of that, let us just see me in the goddamn crowd pull my in, pull me the hell up. Yeah. Uh-huh. You never know. You know what I mean? It might have been that. He might have fell for that. Right. You know what I mean? All upset. Talking about you a mom. She's a lot of goddamn moms out there. Them, some of them moms don't give a damn. That statement don't make no sense. That's why I'm saying man, she, But man, no, Man, he sound like he young saying that. You a mom. You know what I mean? Moms out here is cold. What? Cold out here doing more than that. You know what I mean? Moms out here. You know what I mean? Grandmas out here would get on their goddamn knees yeah. and suck and suck that man off in front of everybody and wouldn't give a damn. I done popped a lot of moms 
and had them in crazy situations. Just walked away like, you know what I mean? That somebody's mother and I done did all that. Right. <laughs> I mean, like, right. But yeah, yo, you right. You know what I'm saying? You right, trust, right. trust me, there's some goddamn women that would not give a goddamn. Yeah. They would get on their knees in front of all them goddamn people. You know what I'm saying? You be seeing them credit them, them wild ass videos of chicks at them bachelor parties and all that type of stuff. The right. stuff they be doing, right, knowing, right. knowing, knowing there's a camera there, right? Knowing people videoing it. So imagine what they would do for us. Shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, you know what I mean? That's what man, that's what that is, man. That that's that's all I really want to say about that, man. Listen, it's cool when they do it, it's a problem when I do it. You know what I mean? But you know, I wouldn't have reacted like that, but like I said, I don't know what they're going through. No, I mean they could have been arguing before she left. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. For all I know, no, he I mean, from Philly. Is he? I'm reading this joint right here. And say, who is Kiki Palmer's boyfriend, and does he prove that men from Philly are embarrassing? We investigate. Nah, now we gotta clean that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah, I mean, now I'm fucking offended. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah, yeah, he from Philly. Yo, one TikToker says his ties to Philly may be the source of the drama. Whoa, whoa, wait a Yeah, because we stay in that. <laughs> know what I mean? Get the straps. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, no. yo, <laughs> What the fuck do the location got to do Remember. with So we insecure a bit in Philly, huh? Oh, man, we ain't, see, see, man. Is that what they trying to say? I don't, huh? Get the switches, man. No, man. We, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> we, 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 we prone to violence and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. It's the outfit, though. You a mom. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Like, I'm just glad she had a good time, man. She looked very, she looked very good for that day, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like you said before, man, you got to get back to yourself, even though she's had a baby. You can't forget that. You know what I mean? I'm, I am still who I am. You know what I mean? I can't lose myself just because I had a baby, man. You know what I mean? So shouts out to her, man. And um, I guess just getting out there having a good time. You know what I'm saying? You got to know who you All right. So my rebuttal to me is that I said because she Kiki Palmer. So that, that's why I like you. But then you got to think about it. She's still Kiki Palmer. So she's going to have roles where she's going to be with certain motherfuckers in movies. So you have to accept everything that come with that shit anyway. Mm. You know what I mean? So... Even though I, that was my rebuttal for that moment, when you think about being with somebody that's in their life, you know what I mean? You probably did movies kissing motherfuckers, you know what I mean? Laying down all type of shit. So I have to accept everything that come with it. And this is just another another scene for me. You know what I mean? Hey, so, listen, you know. Man, listen, as long as you, I mean, yeah, like you said, you got to deal with that. You, you know got to deal you, with what comes you never, with it. You never know. Uh, she, might be in a, she might be in one of them goddamn. A, a, a show or something, a movie that got a sex scene like how them Jones from Power and BMF beat. Them Jones oh, be yeah. looking real. <laughs> yeah, them Jones yeah. be looking like real. Like, oh, yeah. yeah, we try to make it realistic as possible. I mean, you in there losing your goddamn mind to seeing that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah. You, Some of them you pick, your, you like, pick your lady up from, from the day after that, turn the radio on like Pound Town, just right. left Pound Town. Yeah. What? Turn this shit off. But uh, <laughs> Speaking of that shit, right? This is something I want to ask you. I know, y'all. You know I'm saying who you is, and you know I mean the, how how we grew up, and you know I mean your background, your lifestyle, how you like to entertain yourself. You don't got a problem being with a stripper chick. We know that. Uh, Adam Twenty Two, very y'all. You know I'm saying y'all. You know I'm saying uh, successful podcaster. Um, he got like only fans with his wife, I think. Right? I think so. Something All right. Like that. So Dude, Adam Twenty Two actually wife. reached out to a porn star to do a scene with his wife. This was his wife's first scene. Yeah, you know I'm saying, would you be comfortable being with a porn star before I even get into what I want to ask you? Would you be comfortable being with a porn star? No. Okay, my man. No. Now, <laughs> I respect that. Absolutely not. Now the crazy thing about this is that you no know what I mean. Him, <laughs> <laughs> no, the crazy thing about that is that you know what I mean. No way, Adam Twenty Two and his uh, yeah, you know I mean, current wife, they do like you know I mean, certain type of. I don't know if they do the whole podcast together. They just do like certain scenes. But in the scene, she was like, yeah. He was like, yeah, I mean, you were sore after a couple of days of that. She's like, yeah, was it, was it, did it hurt your feelings that we had sex? And I was like, ouch, ouch. He was like, not really, because after three or four days, you got back to normal. My thing is, how secure you got to be with a man to realize that another man piped your shit down and hurt her hmm. more than you get hurt? Pound town. <laughs> Just like pound town. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Dog. Yo, and then and then 
And then try and then make you feel better, try to force herself to have sex with you. She probably didn't even want to have that sex Dog. with you. Like, yo, he just tore my ass up. I'm good for the week. I'm good for the week. Play. Now I mean yo. try to have sex with try to have sex with him and make him feel better. Listen, man, all money ain't good money. It's not. Cause that's shit right there. Oh, no, but we already said content is king. So however I can get this content, if it nah, makes me look all good. Money, bad. Yeah, content, all money ain't good money. So the choices y'all, what the hell y'all gonna do out there for y'all money. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Now we talking about, now we just got finished talking about, oh, it's us shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's a fucking walk in the park compared to, I'm a fuck, I'm a fuck. You know what I mean? Duh. I'm a, 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 a motherfucker hitting the back of the oven. Duh. He hitting the he hitting the back of the oven. He hitting parts of that joint that you don't even hit. Right. Cause she she sore. <laughs> she sore. She even said in the interview like yeah, it was. She sore. She's like no, it's kind of. He was like, well, I mean, you think that thing gonna snap back? She was like, oh, I don't think that shit is true because I had sex with somebody. She said for forty minutes and and they're, and they're and they're bigger than I mean what I'm used to. I'm like, oh man, stop right. it. Stop right. the fucking man interview. fucking dying on the inside. <laughs> Trying to pretend like he cool <laughs> with it. Man, dying on the fucking inside, man. But tell he me, set up. Can't, no, can't nobody tell me he ain't dying but on the inside. he set it up, though. Like, he exactly. set up the move, though. Exactly. All money ain't good money, bro. Now what I mean? Hey. Hey, man, if you feel like the, now I mean, that money is worth that shit, you know what I'm saying, in front of the whole world. See, the problem is that should be happening in front of the whole world. He got to answer for that in front of the whole damn world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Listen, man. <laughs> Pound towns, wow. left pound towns. He set up the meeting. That was crazy to me, pound man. Pound towns, um, left pound towns. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, man. I wanted to ask you that question because I know the dynamics is. Some people say that. I mean, the dynamics of the professions is similar, like a stripper and a porn star. Some some females feel like. I mean, I don't. They. I mean, they just don't go as far as I do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So they feel like the dynamics of the situation is similar. I mean, my my paycheck. I mean, equates for what how far I'm willing to go. Mm. And how 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 limited they willing to stop? Man, listen, man. Even I got boundaries. Mm. I'm not. I'm not dealing with none of that. No, I agree with that you. That ain't man. happening with me. But, I um, agree with you on that, man. You I, know what I mean, man? To each his own. You know what I mean, if he if he if he cool with it, and he really cool with it, not just pretending to be cool with it, and he really cool with it, good for him. If he not, man, listen, man. That's his household. That's his woman. You know what I mean? That's for him to deal with. Me personally, nah. And then and then go have a whole talk about it. I mean, I mean, just like you said. I mean, just for the sake of content yeah, and all just that. Yeah, for the sake of content. Now I mean, now I mean, cause, because that's all it was. But but deep down, as a man, you can't be you can't be cool with it. Now I'm saying not to say you're gonna be you're gonna be all all broke up about it. But at the same time, you ain't think about it none. You just completely cool with that. Now I mean, knowing that man was fucking probably fucking ten I ass up more than you ever have in your life. Yeah, it was just for content, man. She need, you know what I mean? She took to the to point she couldn't, she couldn't even barely have, she couldn't have sex with you. It was her to have sex with you because somebody else just got finished. You know and I'm saying being all up in it. You know what I mean? Ain't like she can, oh, she had sex with him and she cool and she went right there having sex with you. Right. Nah, 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 man. He touch, he touched parts of that motherfucker other than this shit that you ain't never fucking touched. You ain't never been down in the broiler. <laughs> the broiler. <laughs> Nah, man, you know the you know the bottom part, the bottom part. They put the food in there sometimes, like Thanksgiving. They put the food in there to keep it warm down in the bottom of the joint. My man was in that. He touched that part. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yo, it is embarrassing because you never want another man to feel like he got a, a one up on you in, in any situation. And now that man can always walk around and say like, yeah. I I did things to his wife he would never be able to do. Listen, you know man. what I'm saying? So now nah, I mean, he probably he, he probably he, he probably know the joint is deep. He probably never hit the bottom of this joint. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Motherfucker know motherfucker know your wife better than you do. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. He done hit parts of he he done been all up in your white parts you probably ain't even get to. You know what I'm saying? He don't even know about it's this part down here. You know what I mean? Like, got the book. <laughs> like, man, get the cobwebs yeah, out of here. Ain't no, I mean, ain't nobody never been down here. Oh, that, man. That, that motherfucker in the fucking... 
motherfucker in the basement of your bitch pussy. <laughs> your wife's pussy. You in the basement of that motherfucker. Cleaning that shit right on out. <laughs> Just to get dusty again. Because ain't nobody yeah. gonna go back <laughs> until I come back. You know what I mean? Damn. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Putting that shit. <sighs> cleaning, that, cleaning that joint. Listen, man. That's kind of like the gift and the curse that come with this podcast and thing, because everybody wants to be number one. Everybody want to keep up, and to what measure? It's just like whatever it takes for me to, you know what I mean, stay up uh, at this top level, man. I'm, I'm willing to do it. And I'm going to do it. Yeah, I mean, man, that's that's him. Know what I mean, that's his life. Know what I mean, that's his woman, his his wife, or whatever. Man, that's him. Yeah. Know what I mean, no. Nah. I mean, no. Nah. I feel you. you. That's your life. Go ahead. I feel you on that one, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, we kind of got to the 50 minute mark. I ain't think we're going to get this far. What we're going to talk about. Anything else you want to you talk about, man? Um, Anything else going on? Yeah, um, I mean, the Drewski, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Birdman yeah. situation. Keep your head up, young man. Stay safe, bro. Um, <laughs> I don't know what else. What else you know what I mean? What else you talking about? Yeah. You know, we, you know I mean, we, we tap into these current events every now and then when we tap into them, man. But. You know, really from time to time, we, we really don't focus in on this. See, you know, know what I'm saying? Um, the whole... Um, yes, sir. What else I was saying? I, okay, okay. Before we go, we talk about this. About how um, we... Now, I mean, we did... When we did the... Uh, I think we did, when we did the top 50 list. You know what I mean? I did a... We did a whole side conversation about... I mean the whole the whole scene, hip hop scene in Philly. Yes, sir. Yeah, that part, yeah. You know what I mean? We do need somewhat like of a renaissance. But like even though we got artists, we do need like a resurgence of people who wanna be like producers. You know what I'm saying? People who wanna be like the the whole business side of it. You see what I'm saying? We do need that. Now I mean we need some people to come up and so we can like get this joint running the way it should be running. To me, you know what I mean? To me, you know what I mean? This show, this show, this place should be running like how Atlanta run. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We're like, damn near, damn near everybody you hear a song from, where they from? Oh, they from Atlanta. Right. Oh, where, where's, where, where, where's the Chick Lotto from? Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where, where, where all of most of these raps from? Atlanta. Right. That's how Philly should be to me. A lot of the artists you hear should be from Philly. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know what I mean? We got to, but that's the whole like, People gotta want to be dedicated to the whole, the whole like the whole business side of it though. The whole okay, okay they're not the artists, but okay we're gonna have you no know, not me get everybody you know producers, you know what I mean? People that work in the studio, you know what I mean? Or just you know even though I know people now nowadays people can do stuff from their computer that you used to do in the studio, right? But like still like an engineer, people who are just producers, people who want to do the business of it, some people who want to be a CEO, you know what I mean? I mean. Labels, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we should have a QC. I mean, where? I mean, where? Where's, where's our QC? You know what I'm saying we should get a QC, right? Have a label to all the street dudes we got. Now I mean, where's our Griselda at? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Now I mean, every different type of hip hop that's out there is somebody in this in this city that can do. Every level, every different type, every different type. And people want to call it conscious a backpack. It's people that can do that here. Right. Street, you already know you can do that. Women rappers that can do anything, we got that. Right. We got every different type of artist here. But it, it don't, like I said, the production don't show it. You know what I mean? So what we do, you know what I mean? We need, we need, we need, we need like a we need like a renaissance of like the bit, but like the business side, the whole like the, the, the production of music. Not the actual artists, because we got artists. We need everything else. Right. You know what I mean? We need like we 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 need, we need like a surge of that. You know what I mean? Of the people that okay, people that they don't care about being the artist they self, but okay, I wanna, I wanna label, I wanna produce and all that, or I wanna just be in a studio and and help helping whatever artists. You know what I mean? Make their music and get their music out of it. We need that. We need we need, not, we need that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we start need now we need to, and we do need the connections. You know what I'm saying? We do need the, we do need these connections so we can get these people signed. Because we got all this talent and you don't hear about enough people getting signed. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Or like everybody got to go. I mean, I, 
I understand some people got to go other places to get signed because you got to get on and all that. Go, but we should have at least some labels here where some people here can get signed by somebody here. Why? Why do we? We always got to get signed by somebody else. Right. We getting signed from everybody getting signed from labels that ain't ain't that's not from here. Think about it. Who the last person got signed by a label that's from here? They got signed by a label here. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Now I mean we need that. Now I mean we need that type of renaissance where the, where that. Now, now I mean those type of people come out. People that want to help. They want to help make the music, make the music and put it out. Now I mean handle the whole business side of things. Now I mean now I mean we need more of those people. You know what I'm saying? And the people out there that want to do that. We need to try to, I don't know, give them some type of help or connection, something like that, so we can make that happen. Yeah, true. Know what I mean? Because we should be a big part, man. We should be a big part of this. All the talent we got, even though I understand that that that, that, that list is like, what is that, a complex list or something yeah, like that? We're number list. 10. Yeah. Man, we should be higher than that, all the talent we got. No disrespect to nobody else, nowhere else. But all the talent we got, man, man, we should have so many got, man, every other goddamn person, that, that, that song that you hear should be, should be a person from Philly. Yeah. Now, I mean, we should have, like, real, like, movements and things going on here. You know what I'm saying? And not just get capped out of, okay, we, we just get capped out of at, at, at the whole mixtape level. And now just, okay, this such and such person is the next up. The next up to what? Because you say next up, we can't we can't get them to turn pro. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got all these people that's ready to go. You know because I mean? you be hearing names just... I'm just like my brother be be letting me hear music and stuff like that from 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 younger people that's just doing music in Philly. All right, how come it's like we stuck and we can't get like, like I said, we can't turn pro, we can't not, we can't get them to the mainstream. But you got a bunch of with your name a thousand people that you feel like is next up. Okay, how do we get them there though? Right. How do we get them up instead of just keep saying next up? How do we actually get them out up and out there? That's what we need to focus on. That's what people really need to get back to focusing on. I don't know if people feel like, well, well, you know, if you ain't already in the music business, it don't make no sense to try to put pump no money to create no label and none of that stuff or do that business side because it's too risky and all that. You know what I'm saying? And what's the chance of the success rate? And I ain't and I and I ain't about to invest no money and all that. That's why we need, like I said, we not we 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 need like a Philly Renaissance, but like on on like the whole the whole production and music side, mm -hmm. the whole business side of it. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we got the artists. We need, you know I mean? we need everything. You know what I'm saying? What good is having an artist if you ain't got none of the, you know what I mean? You ain't got none of the tools, none of the resources to get people where they need to be at. You know what I mean? The whole administrative side of it, the whole business side of it, the whole music production side of it. You know what I mean? Like I said, man, we got to get the producers. You know what I'm saying? It's time for the, you know what I mean? We need, we need like a resurgence of like the producers, the people that can help make the songs, help, you know what I mean? Get these people who are talented, to learn how to make songs, you know what I'm saying? Now I mean, learn how to make a song and not just be able to rap all day long. Right. Now I mean, because everybody here can rap to the sunburn out. Okay, play a song. Now I mean, if now I mean, you don't know how to make a song, be able to plug you with somebody that can teach, show you how to make a song, not just rap all day long. Because that's our problem. We can rap. We can rap till now to the world end. Know what I'm saying? We 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 can do that. We can do that. You tell somebody start rapping and give me a thousand bars. They can literally give you a thousand bars if you got the time enough to sit there and listen to them. Right. But where I mean, where are the songs at? Where are the record tech that's gonna get you? Now I'm saying that's gonna get you recognized. And then where are the people at that can connect you with somebody? Even if you don't, even if that person don't run a label themselves. Now I mean, we need more to we need more to plugs. Right. We need more the people that got connections to the record company, so we can start. Now I mean, like. Like I said, so, so so we can create our pipeline the same way, the same way like ATL, I mean Atlanta got a pipeline, and then Memphis is creating it, done created their pipeline. Yeah, they did. Shout so, out to Gotti. You know what I'm saying? Gotti putting people out. Yeah, Gotti is. He's not playing with the. Know what I mean? To the point that he he damn near taking a backseat to his own career to put Bro, other people out. Gotti not playing with that money. He show up with a bag. You know what I'm saying? Then you know what I mean? He signed somebody. Then the person he signed signed somebody. Right. Yeah, they start their own label after that. She right. Money back, yo. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? They doing it everywhere else. We got to start doing that here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, you know I mean? They doing it everywhere else. We got to do it here. You know what I mean? They doing it everywhere else. Chicago do it. Dirk get on. Dirk put King Vine on. Right. 
Shit, Chief Keef been knocking joints out. Chief Keef took a back a back seat to the you know I mean hip hop and been knocking shit out for a minute. You know what I'm saying? On a so production tip. So you now I'm saying that's what it. We gotta start being like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like how other you know what I'm saying? You got people that that that, that somebody somebody can from somebody from their own city can put them on. But you know what I'm saying? I mean, even if it's not somebody from your own city, but you're on, they can put other people on. But I'm like saying, I said, it's like they do it everywhere else. But I'm saying you you've been you've been as close to the the as close to the Philadelphia, you know what I'm saying, hip hop scene than anybody else, you know what I mean, that I can now rank you know what I mean think about. And I'm pretty sure you've been with people that that had the the leverage, the prop, you know what I mean, and, and everything to start a label, why they never did it. Did they ever like you ever you ever had them sit down and talk about why they never did it? Or you just like, you know what I mean, at the time you weren't thinking about it? No, I wasn't thinking about none of that. Cause I was thinking about getting in, but that's but that when Ryder got in, you know what I'm saying? I'd have probably put a, I'd have put a bunch of people on. I feel you. I feel because you. because I'm not an artist. You know what I mean? And me, not, not I mean how I win is by the artist winning. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, that shit is hard as hell when you're not. If you know what I mean, like say I was a rapper, and then I made it as a rapper. Yeah, it would be easier for me to put other people on. I'll already be tapped in. But then, because I would have the mindset to do that, right? You know what I mean. Some people probably don't, might not have the mindset to do that. Some people probably not don't have the patience to 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 think about somebody else and deal with somebody else. You see what I'm saying? Mm, I got you. I got you. You know what I mean? Everybody may not be built for that, right? To deal want to deal with somebody else's problems and help somebody else, and it, I mean their career because they think about their own they want their own career, right? Or they care about being on stage they self. You know what I mean? Well, I didn't care about that. The only time I was on stage was when, when the um dude that that, that um that I was um doing the music with, he needed to go on stage. He wanted to go on stage. He didn't want to go on stage by himself. Mm-hmm. So that's the times I went on stage. I, I only went on stage when I had to. Right. You know what I mean? I was on the Dame Dash shit. Like I only went in there because he didn't want to go on stage. He wouldn't be on stage by himself. You know what I mean? You gotta make you gotta make the stage presence a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Exciting. Right. right. You know what I mean? So I had to learn the words to the song and all that type of stuff. But I didn't care about being on stage myself. I was trying to, I was trying to see who I can get around and learn the business from. But like I said, if the business ain't really around, it's a thousand rappers around and no business, how much can I learn? And that's the wall that I was hitting. I was like, there's nobody to really learn no business from. I'm trying to be on the business side of it. Who the hell did I learn from? To the point that I was like trying to figure out, well, damn, how the hell can I get the... The music business is, is, is in New York. How the hell can I get up there? Oh, well, you ain't no college student. And then, you know, you can't get no internship if you're not no college student. So I was like, what the fuck? All right, all right. You know what I mean? So you're trying to, I'm trying to figure out how can, how can I get around somebody so I can learn the business or get with a record company so I can learn the business. Because I can't do nothing if I don't know anything. Right. And then you got, and then you got people, like you said, you got to hear. But here, if you got all these artists... And nothing, you know what I mean? And then no no infrastructure. You just got a bunch of artists that want to rap and want to sing. And then the infrastructure can't keep up with the artists. You know what I'm saying? It's all these artists and not enough infrastructure. So that's our problem. Like I said, hopefully we can like, as time goes, we can like get back to that. Get back to like the time where, where, where it was studios and all that. Even though now it's like people like, well, to have a studio when you can record at home now and keep your costs down. But that's the problem. You got to... No, yeah, we gotta, we don't, you don't know the sound, though. See what I'm saying? Because you don't got to play that, that help you make music. Right, That's right. why when you hear some of these songs people got, they don't really, you know what I mean? It's just they man was in there, did a beat, right. or like the phone or something like that on the computer. Right, they right. just said something. Because some of these joints be sounding like, I'm like, okay, you can, you know what I mean? Who the hell did this joint? Like, this joint don't sound like you around somebody that knew music. Right, right. You know what I mean? You and them was just winging it, which I understand. If you want to get it done, you just got to get it, try to get it done. Right. But what you got? Now, I mean, you ain't around somebody that can teach you how to actually make music and be in the studio and all that type of stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so I kind of had that, like, the people that I was with, we was kind of like that last generation that went to the studio all the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And somebody can actually teach you how to be in a booth on a microphone, what to say. You know what I'm saying? How to, like, mix a record, how to mix, not, you know what I mean? If this don't sound right, this level is off, this is right, this is wrong, can teach you that. We got to get back to that. We got to get the infrastructure back. It is needed. You can't just be everybody so quick to say, oh, well, oh, well, you don't need that now. You do need that, as you can hear. Because so many people can rap their ass off and, and don't have no clue how to make no song. They probably don't know how to, they probably don't know how. Who, right. you know what I mean, if everybody around you don't, don't really know nothing, they just winging it the same way you winging it. 
You know what I'm saying? So, so that's so, so like I said, that is needed. You know what I mean? And in hip hop, the prime part of the prime is is the whole young and old thing. No, you do need some. Some of y'all do need somebody to coach y'all in the how to make some goddamn songs. Right. Because we've been, like I said, we've been spending a thousand bars forever, and where is it really getting us? We already know we can rap here. Everybody in the whole world know that. To the point when you go somewhere else and you say you're from Philly, they assume that you rap. I'm like, bro, man, I'm like, man, I never rapped even when I was younger. I got, I got to tell people, people, you know what I mean? When you tell somebody you're from Philly, they assume that you rap. Yeah. That's how much respect we get for rapping. Right. You know what I mean? So, like I said, man, we do need that. You know what I'm saying? Some of these people do need to go be with some some, some, some older folks that actually know music, can actually make music, and help them craft out, find, I mean, find their sound and the stuff that sounds good. Because right now, if we just got a bunch of people just all on top of each other, just everybody just trying to, okay, this person just wrapped 100 bars, so let me wrap 200 bars. These people just wrapped 200 bars, let me wrap 500 bars. These people just do the way they just wrap 500 bars, let me go on the radio and try to wrap 1,000 bars. Let me try. We got to start making, we got to start actually making the music. Actually making the music. And you're going to need help. Like I said, we're going to need a resurgence of producers, people like that know actually studio equipment, know the sounds and all that. We need that. Now, I mean, we do need infrastructure. Now, what I mean, everybody's just saying, well, you don't need it now. No, 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 we do need it now. We do need it now. Because them goddamn, um, when you go to these other places, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 you, when you see like Atlanta and Memphis and all that type of stuff, they be in the studio. Yeah, they do. They they still be in the studio. Everybody ain't sitting in no goddamn house. They don't play around. No, I mean they still. I mean, we go to these places. They still got like studios. But that's because when you look at the head of the label, it's somebody that, like you said, was a rapper that understood the the importance of the studio. Even mm-hmm. if you go to Atlanta, you got JD. You know what I mean? You got Ti. What you know what I mean? Hustle Gang. You know what I'm saying? Like you got the rapper who understands this is still what we need. You know what I mean? Memphis, you got Yo Gotti. So you know what I mean? So. Uh, I think, and I'm not even one of them dudes to say that the OGs need to leave hip hop, but like we got a lot of OG veterans in here, and I think they need to like make that transition. Yeah, you know I mean, make that transition from like you know I mean, I had my run. Yeah, you know I'm saying it was fun. I understand this industry enough that I can I can give it to the young bulls, the Leaf Ward, the D Sturdies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I don't want to leave nobody out. That's why I want to start naming nobody. But like, if we we got the OGs around here that. They, they they should have the the popularity enough, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to get like a little building and start filling it up with like rappers and we, you know what I mean, come together and do that. But I don't know. Maybe it's because everybody want to be the rapper. Everybody want to be on the forefront. Everybody want to be on the forefront. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That's how I come, you know, even with this podcast, I be telling you like, yo, you comfortable with me throwing you out there like that? Because sometimes you got to understand that. The best thing that can happen could be me taking the back seat and letting you know what I mean other people drive the train. And I think in Philly everybody wanna drive the train. Everybody wanna be you know what I mean the front. So uh hopefully in the future it do happen. You know what I'm saying? If it, if it happened, it'll be it'll be listen, that if it if I, I guarantee if it happened, everything that's going on in Philly will like slow down, it will simmer down. Cause now these kids got an outlet or something to do. They got something to look forward to. So if it happened, I guarantee you, all this, all this nonsense is going on around here. It wouldn't be as hectic as we think it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's all you want to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel you on that, man. Like, uh, well, this is the Earning Night Social Show, man. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, you know I mean, if you got to this point, uh, if you got to this point, yeah, you know I mean, like, you know, stay tuned because uh, Madden is coming out, 2K coming out, man, and giveaways will be on the way. I ain't lying. Like, we we definitely gonna look into uh certain things. I, mean, I ain't just going to give away nothing to give it away. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking into certain things that, you know I mean, a person might have to do, you know what I mean, to get these these copies of this NBA 2K and these these Maddens, you know what I'm saying, that we give away over here on the Earn an ISO show. But, as y'all know, this is the Earn an ISO show. We appreciate y'all. As we say, you know I mean, like, rate, review, subscribe, keep the notification bells on, your notifications on on your phone because you never know when we drop. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we appreciate y'all for everything. It's an Earn an ISO show. If you don't know, now you know. We out of here, y'all. Peace.